Welcome to this short video talking about the new Armor Code AI powered correlation capabilities. As we can see here by looking in this dashboard, we're currently managing about 1.3 million total findings within this organization. Of those, a little over 18,000 of them are SAST findings, and a little over 3,000 of them are DAST penetration testing or bug bounty findings. Now, the typical challenge that most organizations face at this point is which of these 18,000 findings should I go ahead and address and prioritize based upon the vulnerabilities that are existing within my system, those which have been found as part of the DAST analysis. Now, a traditional approach is to start sifting through these, trying to look for individual matches or patterns that I can then use to say, this particular DAST finding is correlated with a particular SAS finding, therefore identifying very quickly the point of remediation. With Armor Code's new AI-powered correlation, we're able to leverage data fusion across multiple categories of source tools to start defining these relationships. And the correlation between DAST and SAST is a great example of that. Here, if we look within our dashboard, we can see that there have actually been 15 findings that have been correlated across these different scan types. Drilling into the findings view, I can see that I'm actually focused on only those findings that have had some correlation. I'm also focusing only on specific scan types. I can see the scan types here in the view as well as the different source tools. So let's go ahead and actually look at this first issue here, which is a SQL injection. Drilling into that, we can see that this SQL injection issue is uh, found from a DAST scan running Zap. And one of the challenges here is this is a vulnerability, but it's not a published vulnerability. It's not a CVE. So I can't use the CVE as a point of correlation. Instead, what I have to do is to look through all of the associated SAST findings and identify which may be correlated to um, SQL injection. Well, with the power of AI, we now are able to immediately pinpoint those findings that are correlated between those different scan types. So here we can see I've got a correlated finding from SonarCube that is actually referencing a SQL related issue here. We can also go ahead and look at these findings together within the findings view, where I can go ahead and perform inspection of those findings individually, or I can start to perform bulk actions, such as recategorization. So for example, here I can see that this uh, static analysis finding was previously marked as an accept risk. I could change that status, or I could actually go ahead and create a ticket for these findings. Uh, when I do create that ticket, the ticket is actually going to combine those findings together into one record. I can go ahead and submit that, and that will attach that newly created ticket to my uh, particular uh, findings here. Drilling in and looking at the finding, I can actually look at um, the information regarding those findings, the correlated findings directly here within JIRA, leveraging the Armor Code JIRA plugin to give me dynamic real-time visibility into the data that's stored within Armor Code, but then also giving me full bi-directional visibility across the, the two systems. If I want to go ahead and add a new correlation, so for example, let's go ahead and jump in back into Armor Code and look at Sonar Cube specifically. We're going to go in here and we can clearly see that I've got uh, my correlated finding from Zap, but I'm going to go ahead and add a new correlation. And this time I'm going to pull in a finding that I already had identified. Um, and this one has come from Burp Suite. So now these are correlated. I can also correlate findings in bulk. So if I go ahead and return back to the findings view, let's go ahead and actually clear our filters. And then let's filter in on this particular vulnerability. And here we can see that I've actually got these two vulnerabilities found, one found by SBOM analysis uh, through Cyclone DX, and one found through SCA leveraging Quiet AI. Again, I can also perform an action here by selecting multiple findings, and I could also create my ticket as the same as I did before. But here in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and perform a correlation. So here with this correlation, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are correlated and then submit that back into Armor Code, and now these manual correlations are available directly within the findings view as well. 
So thank you very much for watching this short video. If you'd like to learn some more, please contact the Armor Code team. We'd be very happy to show you this in more detail and running live inside of your environment.